Hello everyone, this is Space Lust and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will be showing you HXL's very own, very cool Titan 3A rocket with Voyager. And that's really awesome. Let's begin the video. Well, so, I don't know why it said well and so together. So now moving on. HXL actually asked me to showcase his build on my YouTube channel on Discord. So he contacted me on Discord. And I said, of course, yes, because it was a really good build. It is a really good build. And you can see that the side boosters, the SRBs are really close to the main second stage. And that looks really, really realistic because I don't think anyone has done it earlier. I mean, I haven't seen anyone do this earlier, so this is the first for me. And this blueprint has taught me how to place boosters closer than one block because earlier the minimum distance used to be at least one block because actually the crate is one block in its least count. So yeah, now I have actually studied the blueprint through and through and I've learned how to actually make the side boosters come along with the second stage and it's really great i will be doing this in my blueprints videos and if you want to learn about it so be tuned to this channel because it's coming very soon so yeah it looks really cool and it is very realistic because you see that srbs have a really good thrust and they burn for a long time and the engine is really good and the fairing is pretty much realistic i mean not pretty much it's pretty realistic because it's long and it's actually functional long because my fairing was a bit of absurd because I didn't use blueprint editing back in that time. I don't remember. I think I didn't use editing back in that time when I did the video. I don't know. So yeah, the build is obviously edited and it looks really cool. And also, yes, if you want me to showcase any of your builds, just contact me on Discord and send me a blueprint link so that I can actually download the build and then showcase it because, you know, you guys are really, really talented and you guys build a lot of good stuff and I would love to showcase it on my channel. And I will obviously address you in that video. Okay, I'm not going to steal your blueprint. So, so yeah, if you want me to show any of your blueprints in my videos, just hit me up on Discord because... That's the only place where I can get the link right now. So yeah, just hit me up on Discord. The link is in the description below. And yes, I wanted to talk about another thing. So yesterday at night, or rather today in the morning at about 2.30 a.m. Chandrayaan-2, ISRO Chandrayaan-2, India's moon mission, the first lander rover mission to the South Pole, actually lost its communication with the ground stations at an altitude of about 2.1 kilometers so I was really bummed out and I wasn't disappointed because I kind of expected that but I was really sad because although I expected that I didn't want that to happen because you know landing things on other planets on other bodies is difficult so no one expects you to do it good the first try so i kind of expected that i don't know i don't want to be a bad guy here but i'm just telling you the truth i kind of expected the lander to actually crash okay but we didn't know that it actually crashed because everything was going on pretty well when we lost the connection so the lander might have actually safely landed but failed to transmit the data during the landing because the velocity, the downrange distance, the altitude, everything was so fine. Yeah, everything was fine and as expected, but then all at once we lost the signal. So maybe the lander landed, but we haven't got the signal yet. We are still trying and we are trying to analyze. Well, why am I saying we? So ISRO is still trying and still trying to analyze it and all that stuff. So yeah, let's really hope for the best. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. That's from Vsauce. Shut up, Divyansh. Okay, so now I guess that's the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And remember, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, that's the three holy words for every YouTuber. And every YouTuber says these three words in every video. So, 
I'm not going to say these words. You don't have to like, share and subscribe. All I ask you is to keep this thing in mind. The sub goal for this month is 850 subs. Okay, and you don't have to subscribe, but the sub goal is 850 subs and you have to subscribe. So you don't have to subscribe, but I really appreciate if you did because I'll be one sub closer to my monthly goal. And I've said it like the third time now that the monthly goal is 850 subs. And I think that we can reach 850 subs in this month because I have a really cool audience. So yeah.